in case you want to copy what I have, um, uh, I will put on word wrap right now. Let's see here. View word wrap so you can get a picture of the entire. So this is with the text wrapped to the next line. So it's uh, text wrapping. So in other words, this line, line 8, is actually just wrapping on to two lines here. Um, you can see the entire index.php file here. So uh, there it is. Yeah, uh, I can stretch this out a little bit more. There we go. And there's the top. And there's the bottom. Okay, so this is my index.php file word wrapped. Okay, and then besides that, there was just a few changes that I did here. Um, for the most part, um, most of the changes were in my template.css file. And um, I'll show you that file right now. Let's see here. This is it. template.css. Okay. All right, here it is. I'm sorry. This is my template.css file. This is the top. And I'll go down here. Here's the middle. And let's see here. And then here. And we'll go a little bit lower here from content wrapper to the left elements and then the bottom. You can see here I commented out some stuff here. It's all grayed out right here. I commented that out. I'll be talking about that. And then here's the bottom. So that way if you wanted to take a, a picture and, and uh, use what I've done to help yourself, you, you can take a look at my code. Okay, so a lot of changes in the CSS, which we'll talk about in a second. But I also wanted to talk about some other stuff. To get this thing to look like um, this, like my HTML version, I had to go into my um, test site. And a couple things that I did was, is I went into the article manager. Okay. And first, oh, I got logged out here, timed out. I went into the article manager and... I went to the front page article, which is right here, see, published, front page, and I put in the lorem ipsum um, text, um, just as placeholder text, to make it look uh, better. So I've got some uh, lorem ipsum placeholder text here. And the other thing I did here was I went into parameters advanced, and I said no to show title. I said hide category title, hide author name, created date, modified date and time, hide the PDF icon, the print icon, and the email icon. And by doing that, it gave me a very clean look up here at the top of this article. It's missing all that stuff from the top here. And I like that. I wanted to try to, because I was trying to emulate the HTML, and the HTML doesn't have all that Joomla stuff here. So um, I tried to emulate it, and that's how I did it. So I got rid of that. Also, I'll show you something else that I did. Um, I went into extensions module manager, okay, and um, on the user login, on the user login, I turned off, I turned uh, show title, you can turn that off if you want, you can, I didn't turn it off, but you can turn it off if you want, so there's that option. Also on my, um, and I might have done that on the left menu, on the left menu, I turned off the title. So I went no to title. So you don't see the title right here on the left menu. It doesn't say left menu. It just starts with home, which is my first link here on this left column. Right? It just starts with home. And I thought that was important. And one of the other things that I did was, these are just styling things that I'm talking about right now. On the um, main menu, if you go to, uh, let's say, something like uh, home, the home link, all right, so I went to the home link, uh, the my home menu item on my main menu, and what I did was is I went to parameter system, and I said show page title, no. So I wanted to make sure that was off, and did I set any components here? It looks like I didn't. 
So aside from that, that was it. Okay. So those are some of the things that I did to make the template um, look correct. And um, aside from that, there was um, some other styling stuff that I did with the CSS. And I'll talk about some of the CSS stuff in the next um, part.